What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be talking about the best advice for skinnier wide receivers. We're going to be talking about how you guys can gain weight and why weight is not the most important thing you should be worried about, okay? So I hope this video helps you guys out. Hope it could teach you a few new things, but also, fellas, if you are a wide receiver and you would like a daily four-month-long wide receiver gym workout schedule to follow, check out that very first link in the description below for our 16-week wide receiver gym workout plan. Four months of workouts, the exact sets and reps to follow. Everything is mapped out for you. So again, very first link in that description below. If you're interested, let's get started with this video. So why is there such a stress in the football world about gaining weight, putting on size, putting on muscle? And at the end of the day, it's really just about absorbing hits, right? Especially at the wide receiver position. So I'm going to show this, I'm going to show two examples here of why it's probably best to try to play at your heaviest. However, the exact number does not matter. So let's play this full speed real quick. So this is wide receiver. Coming over the middle, catches a post route, he catches this thing, but he takes a shot, right? Now, this is why it's important for you to have some kind of size. Because if you're a twig and you're not built, you're very, very skinny, you're very, very thin coaches aren't going to be as confident in you to be able to take certain hits because the fact of the matter is we play a very, very violent sport. We play a very violent game. And if you're going to catch a dig going over the middle, a coach probably wants you to have some size. He would prefer you to have some size, I should say, to in, in order to take a hit because he doesn't want you to get injured. He doesn't want to put all his eggs in one basket and then have you get hurt because you can't withstand hits. Pressure, like, the, like lifting weights, for example, the more pressure you put on your muscles, obviously, the stronger you're going to get, the bigger your muscles are and the only way to combat pressure which is what will happen when you get hit is with absorbing pressure like getting used to that feeling so that's why it's important to have size and to try to gain weight now listen at the end of the day, if you can't play, if you suck, but you have the perfect size, perfect build, you're fast, you're still not going to play. You have to have the skills. And I'm going to tell you this right now, a college coach will take somebody with skills who can actually play football over somebody who maybe isn't the biggest guy in the world, right? Or who is the biggest guy in the world and who has the perfect frame. So let's look at Travis Hunter here, right? Now, and I'm going to tell you some things about college football too in a second here when it comes to gaining weight. But let's look at this play. This is why you need to gain weight because like, you know, there are going to be certain situations where DBs are going to be stronger than you. You might be light and they're going to force you all the way to the sideline, not giving your quarterback a very friendly throw, not giving him a lot of space because this guy's going to be physical and is going to have some size on us if we don't put on size as well. Now, again, you see Travis Hunter fights for the ball. He's able to restack ball was incomplete, obviously, but still at the end of the day, he was able to fight, get back over the top, use his speed, which is why speed, I feel, fellas, agility, quickness, route running, hands, all that carries so much more weight for the wide receiver position than size. Because let me tell you this, when you get to college, they're going to put weight on you. I remember, I, I remember going into my first year, and this is what they had me do to put on weight, because I was not a big guy, thin, short, like, did not fit the mold. But at the end of the day, I could play right? So their thinking is, okay, he can play. He's got this stuff that we probably can't teach him at this point because you're already developed. You're 18, 19 years old. But what we can do is we can't put size on him. So they're going to put you on a meal plan. I remember the meal plan was like, you would eat, you know, like, let's say for example, for breakfast, you're eating four eggs, potatoes, and like a serving of potatoes and then a banana. You would, they would give you double that. So you would eat eight eggs, two servings of potatoes and two bananas. And it was hell. It was terrible. However, you're going to put on weight, maybe not the best way to do it, but then you go into the gym, they have a lifting plan for you, especially if maybe you red shirt or if you gray shirt, you got access to some of the best, you know, gray shirt is like more so like what a Juco player would do. But if you're, if you red shirt, you got access to some of the best facilities, some of the best recoveries, you are going to gain weight and colleges will put weight on you if they like you. So you look at Travis Hunter, five-star highest recruited guy, guarantee you when he got to Jackson state, Dion's first goal was to put weight on him. And I guarantee you they did it because they know that like, okay, he needs to put weight to be able to absorb hits at the next level. A college coach does not come to your high school and ask, how much does he weigh? They're going to ask, how tall is he? How fast is he? Could I see his film? Could I see his transcripts? That's what they want to see, you guys. They're not caring about the specific weight. Now, listen. Does it help your case? Absolutely, it helps your case. I'm not saying that if you're a twig, like let's say you're six foot, 130 pounds, you should probably try to gain weight because at the end of the day, it helps your cause. It won't hurt you, I don't think, if you could play at the end of the day, but it helps your cause and it will help you stay healthy, right? Now, do you want to be just like fat and slow? Obviously not. You want to be at the lowest body fat percentage you can, so you should be trying to gain weight in a healthy manner. But you look at, guys, there are countless numbers of examples, like Travis Hunter, another great example to think about, like, like we're going to show this Travis Hunter clip in a second, but Tank Dell, that guy's a twig. But again, 
drafted very, very high. I think it was the first round, right? Drafted the first round. Or may, maybe first or second. I'm, I'm not sure. Don't don't quote me on that. But again, he's playing in the NFL. Like, he's, he's going to play in the NFL this year. He's going to play in the Texans. He's a freaking twig, right? So at the end of the day, that is not what matters at the receiver position. What I would suggest working on at the receiver position instead of stressing about, oh, I got to get to 165. I got to get to 170. How about we worry about my speed? How about we worry about my hands, my route running, how I can play the actual game? Because that is the stuff that cannot be replaced. You can always gain weight. You can always get bigger. So look at this example of Tank Dell. This showcase, he comes off the line. He's very twitchy with his routes. He gets up. He's able to stack. He's able to separate. He's able to finish the play. You look at this example of Travis Hunter here. He's running a dig route versus inside shade press, right? He attacks him inside, takes this outside release, uses a speed change, is able to just run around the guy. That is a complete football play there from a wide receiver. That is what coaches want to see. They want to see explosive playmakers. They do not want to see a guy. They do not ask what's his weight. And also, they do not put any weight on the number that you have. Like, like they do not care at all about the weight that you claim on your Twitter bio, on your huddle, because they know that everybody lies, just like how everybody lies about their height and their 40 time. So guys, do not put so much stress on your weight. Now, let's say you're that guy who needs to gain weight, like I said, because it, it helps. It definitely helps. It helps take in hits. Like, let's say you're a freshman, 120 pounds. You should probably try to get to 140, 150. Like, it, it, by the time you're a senior, hopefully the goal would be 170, 180, right? Like, and I know that sounds like big jumps for you, but at the end of the day, like, it only helps your case, but you have to stay athletic. You can't get super, you can't do dirty bulk, get super fat, and not be able to move. You have to be able to stay athletic. So that keeping a low body fat percentage is important when you're trying to gain weight. So that only helps your case and keeps you healthy. Because like we said, receivers, football players, we play a violent game. We're taking a lot of hits. We should be able to withstand those hits by putting on muscle. Okay, so now how does one go about doing that? So in terms of gaining size, two things that I could tell you about is Eating and lifting. These are two things that help me out the most. So let's start with eating. What, 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 what kind of diet should you have, obviously, right? So at the end of the day, it's about calories and it's about protein. So you need to figure out how many calories you're burning on a day-to-day basis, and which is probably a lot considering you're an athlete and considering that you're a receiver because pretty much you're running on every single play and you're lifting. Like right now, it's probably spring ball for a lot of you. So you're lifting, you're running, doing, you're, you know, you're you know, walking from class to class at school. All that's burning calories, right? And if you're doing any extra work on your own time, that is also burning calories. So I highly recommend you figure out how to get something that tracks your, your calories. There's, there's probably a ton of things that you could find online. Track how many calories you burn in a day then track how many calories you eat. And that is going to tell you if you're going to gain weight, if you're going to lose weight, you're going to remain the same. Because if you're just staying at a calorie, just like, just like, like, let's say deficit, you're burning more than you're taking in. You're going to lose weight. Let's say you're consuming more calories than you're burning. You're going to gain weight or you're going to stay right where you're at, depending on how many calories you're taking in. So you need to figure out how much do I need to eat? How can I plan that out in the meals that are required? Do I need to add a meal? Do I need to supplement in a protein shake, whatever, find out high calorie foods? That's the type of diet you need to be eating. And again, it doesn't need to be junk food. You don't need to be eating pizza. You don't need to be eating McDonald's. You don't need to be eating that stuff. You could eat chicken, rice, sweet potato. All of those things can help you add on weight. And then number two, in the gym, you should be lifting to put on size. You should not be doing, you know, like high rep, you know, like just like cardio stuff in the gym. You should be lifting on the heavier side of things, eight to 10 reps, you know, maybe do a superset every now and then consuming protein to break down, to repair those muscle fibers broken down in the gym. So a good gauge for protein that I would recommend is what I did. One gram of protein per pound of body weight. So let's say you weigh 120 pounds. You should be trying to consume probably more than 120 grams, if I'm being honest, if you're that low, but 120, maybe 125 grams of protein a day because that will help you repair those broken down tissues in your body, which help your muscles grow faster or at least recover faster so you can get after it consistently in the gym because consistency is what's going to build size. So if you want to gain weight, you do all those things, you have a recipe for gaining weight. But at the end of the day, like we said, you can't neglect speed work because we have to be at a low body fat percentage and we have to remain athletic. So don't be so caught up in a specific number. Don't think I have to get to 170 to be able to play college football. Guys, you just need to be as as good of a football player as you possibly can be. Trust me, if they want to put weight on you, they will put weight on you. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We always appreciate the feedback, and um, it's always great to hear from you guys. Again, fellas, if you would like a four-month-long wide receiver gym workout schedule, check out that very first link in the description below. We'd love to get you on that. I'll see you guys next time.